You're right. It's white. It's that new Oxidol white. Yes, new Oxidol is white, and it washes clothes whiter than ever before. The cleanest wash you can get from any soap in the world. Oxidol's own Ma Perkins. You're right. It's white. It's that new Oxidol white. Now your clothes wash whiter than ever before because now, today, there's a new Oxidol, new white Oxidol, the whiter, whiter soap for a whiter, whiter wash, the whitest wash in Oxidol history. Now you'll see your sheets and towels and shirts wash whiter than you ever dreamed they could, a new whiteness that has thousands of women saying, You're right. It's white. It's that new Oxidol white. White is right. Now, with new white Oxidol, you can wash your clothes any day. Try them anywhere, even inside, and get the whitest Oxidol wash you've ever had in your life. Yes, the cleanest wash it's possible to get from any soap in the world. What's more, as long as you use new white Oxidol, this amazing new whiteness stays in your wash. Stays for the life of your clothes. And when you see how sparkling bright new white Oxidol gets your washable colors, you'll know it's truly safe. Just the wash day soap you want for those pretty prints and cotton. The very first time you see the brilliant white wash, the beautifully bright wash it gives you, you'll make new white Oxidol a wash day habit. So get some. Your dealer has it now. Next wash day, be right. Get clothes white with new white Oxidol, the greatest Oxidol Procter & Gamble ever offered. The whiter, whiter soap for a whiter, whiter wash. And now, for Ma Perkins. Well... Joseph has had a big, big date tonight with Miss Ann Morrison, a celebrated photographer who's taking pictures of Rushville Center for that national magazine back east. They had dinner at the country club, danced, and they went boating out on Lake Candlewood. And all in all, Joseph thought, in fact, he said so to Miss Morrison, it was the most exciting night he's ever known. But when they came to get the car to drive back into town, Joseph had borrowed Faye's car for the evening. It wouldn't start. Well, it's just a few minutes later now, and... Well, listen. What is it, Joseph? Won't it start? I think it's the battery, Ann. Sounds like it. Just about dead. Oh. Uh, I had my fingers crossed when we got in the car. I was afraid it might have gone dead. Guess maybe when we parked the car, I didn't turn the ignition switch clean off. You mean the ignition's been on all this time? Guess so. I don't drive very often, you know. It's been almost a year since the last time. I thought I had turned it off, but it's a trick switch. Ignition and lock are separate. No wonder the batteries petered out. We've been here since seven. It's all of five, no, six hours. I'm awfully sorry. Joseph, you're sure this isn't a variation of the old we're fresh out of gas routine? What? Oh, no, honestly, uh, don't be silly. Well, you can hear for yourself. It's dead as a doornail. <laughs> You're cute, Joseph. Oh, it's perfectly legitimate, really. I know. I was only teasing. <laughs> well, what do we do now? Start walking? Oh, no, that's a long haul back to town by foot. I don't suppose there are any hills around where we can coast down and get a flying start. Golly, no. Flat as a pancake, the whole county. I could find the telephone. If they gave me a membership card in the motor club, I... Could call them. They have 24-hour service. Well, as long as they were inconsiderate enough to close the clubhouse without us. Let's go break in and phone. Hey, have a heart. Faye didn't figure on paying for any broken windows when she said I could use her membership. Oh, I think I saw a phone booth out towards the golf links. I'm sure I did. Uh, would you like to come along or would you rather stay here? Oh. Ah, well, <laughs> you've done a lot of walking already. <laughs> How true. Why don't you go ahead, Joseph? And I'll just wait here. Hey, you won't be afraid. Uh, petrified. Well, out in the wide open spaces of Brown County at 1.30 in the morning. You go ahead, darling. I'll wait. <laughs> okay. Now, don't forget, it's a promise. Oh. 
Joseph. Hi. How are you? Mm. Oh, oh, I guess I must have fallen asleep. <laughs> well, are we rescued or are we not? Mm-hmm. Take a while, though. Man will be here maybe 30 or 40 minutes. Oh. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> All this fresh air and walking. Not to mention our boat ride was too much for me. What time is it? Well, it's going on 2.30. Oh, Joseph, this is terrible. Why, you have to be out delivering milk in another few hours. Well, don't worry about me. Well, I know, but what will people say? What? Their favorite milkman turning up with circles under his arm. Oh. <laughs> Did you say someone was coming for us? Uh-huh. It'd take 30 or 40 minutes, though. Oh. Oh, I fell so sound asleep. You were very beautiful. What? Mm-hmm. When? Well, all the time, but especially when you were asleep here, curled up in the corner of the seat. Oh. Moon shining down in your hair. Well, I'll have to wear moonbeams more often. You usually do, Anne, as far as I'm concerned. Why, Joseph, that's very sweet of you. You know, you said before I resented you. You were right, I had. You were so smooth, so self-confident, always needling me, calling me a, a rebel. Well, aren't you? Well, that was beside the point. I wanted to settle down here in Rushville Center and be left alone. And then you came along. I've never known anyone like you before. I've never known a woman I could talk to outside of Ma and Faye, of course, but they're like my own flesh and blood, my own family. And what about your wife, Joseph? You were able to talk to her, weren't you? Oh, Star was different. There were only a few things she was interested in. It wasn't her fault. Oh, my poor dear. Oh, no, I, I'm not saying all this to you for sympathy. Oh, I know that. I found myself tonight. And the other morning, when you came along with me on the milk wagon, I, I found myself saying things I, I've never said before to a living soul. Things I've thought and thought and thought about till I used to think I'd go crazy. Joseph. I'll tell you something if you, if you won't laugh. Why, of course I won't. Tonight's the first time I ever really kissed a woman. Oh, oh Joseph, you're joking. No, I, I said really kissed a woman. But your wife. I told you about her. I told you how we felt. We were engaged. We got married. A kiss was a part of the ritual, so we kissed. Yes, I know. It's just, you, you've got to understand what this all means. Why I've been surly and cranky and... Oh, Joseph. And please kiss me. Please kiss me. Oh, my darling. Darling. Mm-hmm? What time is it now? Oh, about three, I guess. Oh, poor you and those milk bottles. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, huh? Joseph, there's a man standing near the car. What? Hey, hey, what's the idea? Who are you? Take that flashlight out of my face. You, you're the service man? Well, it all depends what service you mean, son. Joseph, it's a policeman. A what? That's right, lady. State police. What's the idea of parking here at 3 a.m.? This is private property. This is a country club. This ain't no public neck and lap. Well, officer, we, we were here for dinner. What I... time do you eat dinner? Uh, now, look, officer, our, our battery's gone dead. Yeah? Let's see your driver's license. Uh, oh, and oh your, sure. And your car registration, too. Dinner. The club closes at ten. Officer, we went rowing on the lake. And we've been here for almost two hours because the car won't stop. I phoned the motor club. We're waiting for a serviceman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's your license? Oh, here. Uh, this is my license, and here's a car registration. Hmm. You, uh, Mrs. Faye Henderson? What? It says this car belongs to Mrs. Henderson. You Mrs. Henderson, lady? Why? Now, look, officer... This is Mrs. Henderson's car, all right. She let me borrow it for the evening. Uh, if you'll check the address on my license and on the car registration, you'll see it's the same. Uh, I live with her and her mother. You say the car went dead on you? Uh, yeah, the battery. I'll show Don't you. Don't bother. I'll see for myself. Come on, get out. Come on, get out. Okay. See if you can start it. Yeah. I'll do that. Uh, what's your name, lady? Now, what difference does it make? Now, look here, buddy. It's then important that you have her name. If you have any business at all, it's with me, period. You're darn tootin' I got business with you, laddie boy. In the first place, this is private property. 
You're trespassing. I'm not trespassing. I told you we were here for dinner. Well, for your information, the joint closes at 10 o'clock. Now, what have you been doing ever since? Picking daisies? Officer, this is very silly. Sure, it's silly. What do you suppose me and my partner are out here for? Do you think we like prowling around at 3 a.m.? How do I know you ain't stolen this jalopy? <laughs> Buddy, this battery better be dead or you... <laughs> dead, all right. Okay. But that still doesn't clear you, the car not being registered in your own name. I've and... told you... Now, look, I... look, officer. I'm Ann Morrison. I'm staying at the Rushville Center House. Uh-huh. Now, if you'll give us a shove and help us get started and come into town with us, I'm sure they'll be able to identify both of us to your satisfaction. Well, okay. We're headed that way anyway. But if they can't identify you, lady... You and your boyfriend will probably wind up spending the night in the jug. You're right. It's white. It's that new Oxidol white. Yes, if you want to get the whitest wash in Oxidol history, that new Oxidol white, you want new white Oxidol, the greatest Oxidol Procter & Gamble ever offered. The whiter, whiter soap for a whiter, whiter wash. Just notice how white this new Oxidol is. But more important, see how white it gets your wash. Whiter than ever before. You're right. It's white. It's that new Oxidol white. White is right. Now, Oxidol has always been famous for getting clothes white. But now, new white Oxidol gives you the whitest Oxidol wash of your life. The cleanest wash it's possible to get from any soap in the world. Yes, even when you dry your clothes inside. And when you wash your pretty prints and colored cottons, you'll know new white Oxidol is truly safe. They come out sparkling bright. So try new white Oxidol next wash day. Get some now. Your dealer has it. Be right. Get clothes white with new white Oxidol. The whiter, whiter soap for a whiter, whiter wash. Well, Joseph's big date with Ann Morrison had a rather dramatic climax, didn't it? Ah, but the drama has just begun. Because there are going to be some rather violent reactions from their return to Rushville Center in the company of the law. On Monday. But now this is Charlie Warren speaking for Ma Perkins with Virginia Payne, inviting you to listen again Monday to Oxidol's own Ma Perkins. Same time, same station. You're right. It's white. It's that new Oxidol white. Yes, new Oxidol is white, and it washes clothes whiter than ever before. The cleanest wash you can get from any soap in the world. 